Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Davis, also known as Max Cube Gaming, and this is the third and final video for this week's news in the gaming world. The first video we talked about Halo's development and Microsoft's mega acquisition of Activision Blizzard. The second video we talked about China's more impactful, more in control situation with their very own Twitch and how that is going. And Disney Tencent teaming up for an MMO shooter all about Avatar. Now, the third final video, we're going to be talking about Splitgate's new mode and map, map builder. And is Battlefield 2042 so bad that even the cheaters are dropping out? This is the final video for this week in the gaming news. Let's start it up, guys. Let's go. Splitgate is getting a new map builder and new modes on January 27th. So guys, fans of Splitgate, fans of the Portal slash Halo com combined game, more modes, more uh, fun stuff should be coming through. Um, I tried Splitgate, it's fun. I wasn't quite a fan of the portal functionality, maybe because I wasn't so good at it, but it's a very, very good idea. It's a very, very, uh, I guess Halo-ish idea, um, and knowing that new content's coming in, them getting ready for season one, it's exciting, guys. So, with that being said, the CEO indicating indicated that our custom map creator will continue to evolve alongside the rest of the game. The CEO of 1047 Games stated, along with we're looking at. The map created as a revolutionary evolutionary tool driven by the community. It's a robust feature for fans to play with the day one of our new season. We're really interested in hearing feedback from the community regarding the types of features and tools they want. So it just appears that they're getting some type of forge. If you guys know about Halo, Forge was their form of map building um custom game type of feature that yet the game is yet to have so split is already hitting the mark with that type of feature so that's exciting uh, on top of that they're about to hit their very own season one so they're about to leave their beta um versions which is exciting as well and they need to uh because according to the uh they started off with 67,000 players, which peaked within the five years of the five months of launch. And now they're only seeing between 1,000 to 2,500 players a day. So that could be because of the launch of Halo Infinite. That could be because of a lack of innovation within the game itself. Um, obviously, Halo Infinite does take a huge, huge hit towards the split game community because a lot of split game gamers are Halo gamers due to the gameplay, the similarity. Uh, but split game did pretty much hit a home run right off the bat frame. The article uh, indicates that it's quite impressive. Split game hit 10 million downloads under 30 days. So that is huge. Um, and 1047 games will need more to actually keep up the interest of the gamers at full release. So, what do you guys expect from Splitgate? What do you guys expect from 1047? Those who are still playing Splitgate, let me know in the comments below what you guys want uh, in the game for them to be able to compete with Halo and continue to flourish. So that's Blake guys. Let's move on to the next portion of the game. News, and that is, guys, <laughs> can it get any worse for DICE and EA? Can it? Because apparently it is. Battlefield 2042 is so broken, even cheaters are quitting, guys. This article is from 
svg.com and it's sad you guys it is pathetically sad what's going on with ea dice and battlefield franchise right now it's like they and from beta there were serious problems and they did not solve the issue nobody wanted those avatars of like these base base um features of players like i want to go back to the format of uh specialists assault engineering medic and sniper and customizing it within not i have to play this particular individual and then have it to customize that and then go into this other portion to customize this feature and then adding something else and then putting something else just to do a simple function that was flawless uh the last game battlefield 5 it existed it was easy it's so bad people are going back to those games and there's barely any people playing 2042 and on top of that they haven't fixed the issue they haven't fixed the bugs things are going from bad to worse for ea in battlefield 2042 that just has to get on it so according to the article, why are players leaving why are cheaters leaving about by, by like them have all out of all players the cheaters uh battle 40 battle 2042 launched in a rough state even when considered the additional development challenges presented by the ongoing pandemic the game released completely riddled with bugs and glitches making every second player spent in a agony the gameplay even more troubling is the the critics found to actually have gameplay loops underneath inconsistent issues as indulged and overwarring at his at his own, according to the Washington Post. It seems like this is twofold problems has intentionally dealt with the rapid cheating players reports before the title was even released. Cheater develop developers are finding that both are completely a mess to decode and even code cheats for battlefield 2042 uh also indicating that no one's ever, no one's even interested in providing the cheats uh nobody's interested in even obtaining those sheets and will this continue battlefield 2020 battlefield 2042 from their own stores indicates one insider for uh, SVG who communicated with one of the cheater sites so no one was buying the game no one's playing the game cheaters are leaving nobody's buying the cheats nobody's trying to play illegally the game is dead guys the game is dead on water dead on arrival and it's sad guys uh it's definitely not the way dice wanted things to happen indicating the article uh, saying that they wanted to prevent cheaters um, but what cheaters they don't exist. The cheaters have just refused and refocused their efforts on other games that people actually want to play. Um, so who knows what's going to happen next? I I'm really am hoping that Dice gets this message and EA gets this message and gets their act together and fix the the franchise. Fix it. Fix the games. Fix it in the near future. Don't blame, don't blame the pandemic. If it was a pandemic, delay the game, delay it for next year if you want, if you have to, to make sure the game is flawless. Listen to feedback. Remove features that don't make sense. Give us back a scoreboard, which they eventually did, and it still didn't change anything. Nerf vehicles. It's battlefield, not battle car or battle tank. A world of tank. Whatever the case may be, DICE, EA, I know you guys still not going to watch this video. If you guys do, then wow, amazing. Subscribe. Get things done. Fix it. Because I am a huge Battlefield fan, and I miss playing that, that franchise a lot. And I did purchase the game physically, not from Steam. So, sadly, I won't be asking for my refund. But I invested. And I'm a very disappointed customer, along with many, many others. So get it done. So with that being said, this is the third and final video for this week in the gaming news. 
thank you so much if you guys are still watching once again every week i will be dropping from two to three videos of gaming news along with possible highlight rails for last stream last week's stream or that week's streams um so it's exciting guys pokemon Arceus is next week i am so hyped did you guys pre-ordered it did you guys see the links what do you guys think let me know in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content it will definitely help me out in my growth and my goal to provide the best and excellent news in this platform so definitely help me out with that hit the bell icon to get your latest and greatest news on a snap guys and don't forget to follow me on instagram tiktok hover and twitch you guys so once again thank you so much i'll see you guys on the other side. Cheers.